What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new episode of WWE Supercard Late Night Edition of Supercard. As always, if you guys enjoyed today's content, make sure to give it a big thumbs up as always. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more awesome daily Supercard content. I want to give you a big thank you to all of you. We hit 13-4 yesterday. Big props. I do appreciate it. And uh, we didn't really lose that much subs to the whole spam deletion of accounts on YouTube so we didn't lose that much thank God so yay uh, over the limit has another day 22 I'm at 15k points exactly but I'm going to try to get to 16 17k by the end of tonight and then finish this off tomorrow but this will be on when you see this video you're obviously gonna see me at the 18k mark that's all that matters so yeah currently I'm gonna go ahead and start this we won our shattered king of the ring we are the champions as as we know now what do I want I need a neon Becky Lynch that is who I need neon Becky Lynch if I get a neon for the shattered I'll take a Nikki cross or any other pro I don't have yet whatever Give me something I don't that that I have, you know. Did I really just say something that I don't have? Lol. Um, well, female wise, I guess. But you know, Nikki Cross or any female, and then for males, give me someone I have. Not a third. I'm hoping not a third. So here we go. We're gonna claim these bad boys. Give. I want to see Becky Lynch as the first card. Obviously, this could be the neon verse. I want to see Becky Lynch. Why do I want to see Becky Lynch? I'll let you know in a minute. Oh, we got a Macho Man Randy Savage, which is a pro. Uh, very top tier card as well. So I might pro him to get him into the team deck. Well, well not team deck, my, my Road to Glory deck. And the Shatter card is Kevin Owens, which is another single. Oh my god, I'm getting stuck on singles right now. That is insane. Alright, but it is Kevin Owens, so yay. It was an easy King of the Ring because there wasn't one damn human in there. Now, I know you're saying, Edward, why did you want Becky Lynch so bad? As you can see, we got Paige. That's an up arrow for me. All right. We have Alexa Bliss, left arrow. Okay, yay. Then we have <coughs> Candice LeRae, left arrow. Liv Morgan, left arrow. You see the trend I'm going with this? And then you can see up arrow, what we do. And then I did say I got Sasha Banks in my uh, previous video. We got the pro. We we're gonna get a pro Sasha Banks. And then, as you can see on my screen, you see that, and then you see that, which was my recent pull, which was Charlotte Flair, which is a pro now. And that is why I wanted a down arrow to tag with one of these cards because you know I have no compatibles with them, which is the problem for me. I had Nikki Cross, which is another left arrow couldn't tag her and then Sasha Banks is a right arrow I can't use her so I was, I'm literally gonna need to I had the single Becky Lynch I'm gonna need to use two neon pros now as my tag and I have no other choice I have to use that and I can't use Paige or Charlotte in my king of the ring which is fucking bullshit <laughs> cause two neons pretty much kill whatever I have left so I probably could test my luck, but I don't even know. I silver sold all my gothic, so it kind of screws me up with this one. Oh, well. Can't do much without it. So that would do it for this part of the video. We're going to now uh, go ahead and uh, go into the heroic finale, of course. Uh, we're going to go ahead and lock in Kevin Owens. And we'll go ahead and lock in Macho Man, which is another pro. I want to see how I think I have 40 shatter cards 40 look at like look at all these singles though oh my god and I couldn't get a pro from that she all right so we're gonna go ahead and finish up Elias for you guys uh, I'll let you know the total stats of everything after Elias is done like credit spent contracts and whatnot so we will be right back with the finale of a life all right you guys good morning out there to everyone as awesome as you may be 
Uh, we are currently going to do the Elias finale for today's video. Before we get into all that stuff, I just want to show everyone what I pulled during this entire event. I'm not going to go into Neon Gothics. I pulled a shitload of Shadow Cards from this event. That's the only good thing I enjoyed about this event is because I had to spend contracts and I pulled so much Shadow Cards. So, to get started, I did pull a Charlotte. I still haven't finished her up yet. Still working on her. She still has like halfway to go. Uh, then, uh, as another pull, we did get... Who was it? You know, we did get a Stone Cold Steve Austin. We pulled a Nikki Cross. We pulled the Lou Gallows. And we pulled a Velveteen Dream. And I think Velveteen Dream and Lou Gallows were like maybe 20 resets apart. After I pulled Charlotte, which Charlotte was also like maybe a hundred resets. So it was a pretty, pretty good day when it came to these types of, uh, like came to money in the bank. It paid off for me so well. But l just look at all those singles that I have. Boy, am I just getting like not good luck right now when it comes to getting these pros. So, I know people are asking, Ed, what was your strategy? The thing is, you're going to need money in the bank contracts. You're going to need that. That's a fact. Uh, I had 91K, all right? You can't see it on your screen. I had 91K. I'm currently at 72, which is almost 19K. It's close to 18, 19K I've spent on contracts. Which is almost as much as getting a shattered neon, uh, pretty much a neon, pretty much like one of these cards. So yeah, it's a lot of contracts. So, and then I spent about, it seems about 8,000, 9k credits, depending, because I knew I messed up in the beginning, so it probably would have been less. But it would have been 8, 9k, I think I spent about 9k on the event so far. So I'm sure a lot of people are asking, Ed, how did you do this? So this is how I did it. I would stack up picks, pretty much. Uh, I usually would get the car limit. I would stack up picks. Usually this would be at 100 already. I would have those pick stacks. So I would use the 100 here. And then after that, I would ampl amplify that. And then hopefully we get some good points. Then I would times five. This is where I would times five Use the 60 picks that I just had and go in and you'll probably get up to 75 to 85, even 100 if you're really lucky. So there's 200 amps within about four minutes. And then you would do the repeat process of money in the bank over and over. It would take you about four to five minutes to do that again to get to 100. And then you got three within 10 minutes, I say. And then you keep doing it over and over. You repeat over and over for 30 minutes. You don't stop. You keep going and going. If you're really lucky, you can get between six. Sometimes. Sometimes I got six. But most of the time I got five. So five times five, 100 hype. Which is at minimum five to 600 points. Guaranteed in that half hour. So you use your times five to your advantage. You used it more than one time, two times. You got it five, six times. And then if you got doublers, boom, you made even more points. If you got a doubler every damn time, that's at least a thousand points. So that's how I did it, pretty much, ladies and gentlemen. So if that's the way you guys want to do it, you guys can do it, but it is way more expensive. However, it is less stressful as well to do. Uh, so. You know, whatever works for you, then we'll go with that. All right. So we, we're only looking for one amp, pretty much. And then we could pretty much call this video GG. Uh, I'm not a fan of the hype taking forever, though. So we already got our one hype. That's all we needed. I'll go here to over limit. I only need 81 points. This is why I'm doing this. Because out of five bouts, we should guaranteed get there. Especially if I hit the double. Uh, 
There we go, 51 points. Halfway there already. Booyah. Now all we need is 30. With four ballots left, I'm not even worried. All right. And this is what I kept doing over. As you see, you just keep doing this over and over and over. When you have a times five, and boom. That that would have been ten right there, if. But you know, yeah. Man, this event will hopefully be improved. I'll tell you that much. I'm just glad it's over. <laughs> oh man, I gotta get back my contracts because I got five days left. All right, so this one this one looks like it might be a ten pointer. Oh, we got 50 points again. Sweet. And there you go. 18K has been reached. You can't go above it, which is, you know, unfortunate. <coughs> but yeah, Elias Heroic has been completed. It's been a hell of a journey. Oh, no, it does go up after that. So once you get up there, that's it. You can't really do it else. All the only left I can do pretty much is maybe do like 20, 50 points at a time in the global hype to help you guys there. Because, you know, we have a day and 13 hours to get to 150 mil, which is possible, guys. It is possible. So, yeah. We can, we can get there. All right. So, that would do it for today's video. Peace out. <laughs> How could I end a video and not say it? Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. I forgot to mention that. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel for the up-to-date Supercard information as always. We'll see you guys next time. Take care. Have a good one. Enjoy OTL. Because I'm sure as hell done with this mode for now. <laughs>